Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 2nd, 2019. So our first day of the second quarter, we had a major display of power by the bulls. All hopped up on um, hopes of a trade deal, um, good, um, good company, um, acquisition information got the market really fired up um, along with some really good China um, data really fired up the bulls and as you can see we rallied right through this resistance we had been in this choppy zone right in here where we would kind of been locked in here for a while we, we started to pop out on Friday but boy really fired up yesterday breaking out of this chop zone that we've been kind of stuck in for a period of time now we face another price resistance level doggone it you know we finally get out of a a place and then uh, slam right headlong into the next level of resistance so what should we expect today well you know what I do with this morning video is I don't try to do any kind of speculation as to direction of the market. I try to point out the points of interest and the way maybe you might want to think when approaching this market uh, for the day. So with that in mind and no prediction as to which way it's going to go, let's take a look at these index charts. First, we do want to recognize the fact that we are are still below a relatively significant resistance here in the market certainly we had a great day yesterday up over 300 points in the Dow wonderful move up so the question that we have to deal with today is will we be able to maintain that momentum will there be enough momentum to maybe carry us through that resistance or is there a possibility that we get a little pause in that price action, a little rest in that price action for a couple of days just to kind of catch our breath? Or could we even see a little bit of profit taking to pull us back, maybe to test this level of support? So we want to consider that as we um, plan our day ahead. Yeah, we all want the market to go up, um, but we have to realize that the market has three directions it can go um, up, down or sideways. And a lot of times we forget that sideways, a little bit of rest after such a big move would not be out of the question. So let's kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the SPY, 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 big, big rally yesterday, gapping, moving um, up strongly and stopping short of breaking through this relatively significant barrier here in the SPY. As you can see, this is a pretty substantial uh, level of resistance. And we stopped just short of that yesterday, trying to break out. So as we wa watch this this morning, um, that may be kind of a tough place to push on through. Um, it's possible that the momentum of this move, and we are technically in a good pattern now, um, having having made a new high, we have a really nice technical pattern here. So if we can pop through there, that would be wonderful. But don't be all that surprised to see a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback, or even you know a completion of this wedge pattern um, as we chop around underneath that level before we can find that energy to pop out. Now, of course, any news could certainly drive us through there, and we do have some news today on the economic calendar to be aware of, but we'll want to pay attention to that. Let's take a look at um, the Qs. Now the Qs have been the technically strong index uh, this entire time, but let's kind of keep in mind, as great as that move was yesterday, all we did is move up here and tuck ourselves right against uh, this price resistance, was not able to punch on through there yesterday. Um, so we're going to have to watch this level up here, even though we're technically strong and we're in really good shape here. Um, don't be at all surprised to see a little rest, a little pullback, 
and that would be uh, no harm or foul um, here at all if we had a little rest or pullback in the queues. If we can poke on through there, awesome. If we can get through there and prove that we can hold that as support, then we're in great shape to maybe come up here and attack the all-time highs here in the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, unfortunately, the IWM really kind of drug its heels yesterday. Didn't really um, participate like the uh, with the other indexes. So we still have an index that is showing us a bearishness. We have a downtrend here that we're still still dealing with in the NASDAQ. Now we did push up and we just barely cracked through by the end of the day, cracked through this resistance level right here in the chart. But let's keep in mind that downtrend is really still in effect here on IWM and a failure pattern, um, if that were to occur in here, um, could be you know, pretty harsh uh, for uh, the IWM. However, it is also possible that we can get a little consolidation, a little rest along this resistance level, just kind of hanging out there resting a little bit to try and build some energy to break on through. So we'll have to watch that close. Um, just it, it's giving us that little bit of pause where the IWM is just really not showing the love that we're getting in the other indexes. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. Now the VIX kind of got to admit was a little bit surprising yesterday. I would have expected a bigger decline in the VIX yesterday. As a matter of fact, it wasn't until really uh, late afternoon where the VIX really started to fall at all. Um, it held up really, um, most of the day it held up strong. So kind of interesting. Now, as we approach this support down in here, we'll want to watch for a potential bounce in here on that VIX for fear to kick up maybe just a little bit. Um, and that would not be a major problem. But if we do start to sell off, let's watch for that potential kick up and let's watch for that support level right in here. Let's take a look at T21. 22, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday was such a big push in bullishness. We moved this indicator right up here into that bearish reversal zone, that place where we could see some pullback. Now we still have room to move up. There is obviously still room where we can go to the upside here. So this doesn't necessarily mean that today we have to sell off. It's just we're reaching that area up here where we may be in a short term. And when I say short term, I mean short term. It could be um, just a uh, just a couple three days that we're um, we're overbought just for a tiny little bit, and any rest or pullback could definitely drop us right back down into this area, giving us more opportunity to move up. So let's keep in mind that as we approach, as we continue to push uh, toward this upper level, that um, at any point in time, we want to watch for those um, clues of some profit taking, selling coming in and start pushing us back down. So let's watch that. Let's take a look oops, at our um, economic calendar today. And uh, while I'm doing that, I just want to make note that currently as I'm recording this, the futures have been a little bit all over the place this morning. When I first woke up, uh, my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. Central Time. Um, and I first looked at the futures, the futures were all in the red. Now um, we, we've gotten some of that pre-market pump and some of the futures are starting, the ES and the NASDAQ are starting to show just slight gains on the day. But as I'm, as I'm doing this right now, the Dow futures are now down five points. So we've got a little bit of a mix, a little bit of um, stuff going on. This could change it. 
Right here at 8.30 this morning, we have the Durable Goods Orders. Now, Durable Goods Orders is obviously one of those big reports that can move the market around a little bit. And because we have kind of a lighter day um, in earnings, we have um, some, well, uh, the market is a little bit left to what the news is going to produce to um, really move us around. So taking a look at that durable goods order uh, orders, we want to watch that pretty darn closely here um, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Right now, the consensus is expecting a decline in orders. So as long as uh, the number comes in somewhere within the range of expectations, We'll probably be okay. If it comes in better than expected, of course, the market could certainly rally on that news. If it comes in worse than expected, um, that may um, bring on some of that profit taking today. So kind of keep an eye on that durable goods number today at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Let's um, take a look on the um, earnings calendar. We have about 50 companies reporting earnings today, a, kind of a substantial decline in earnings, and, and we really should. Um, um, our earnings, uh, our earnings for um, the next season really don't begin for a couple of weeks. So these are still stragglers coming in, reporting end of year and first quarter um, earnings uh, for today. So um, there are a few to uh, make note of, but nothing, um, nothing that would be a major market mover. You know, for example, take a look at. Uh, play play is reporting today it looks like let's see no I don't think it's reported yet um, a GME GameStop is reporting today don't expect that to move the market around much uh, WBA however whoops WBA um, uh, Walgreens um, looks like it has reported so far this morning and missed um, uh, disappointing um, investors on that. So WBA looks like it's going to open sharply lower this morning. So just a few of those to um, make note of for the day. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor? Would you click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook? Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Yeah, I can't tell you how important that is to um, having the YouTube algorithm show these videos to more people. Uh, for everyone who clicks that thumbs up and leaves a comment, it helps a lot. So I truly, truly appreciate those of you who, who take the time to do that. And uh, to show that appreciation, I personally answer every single one of those comments. Um, so please, uh, please do me a favor and do that. Also, if you find this video helpful, others might find it helpful as well. So please click that share button and uh, post this video over on your Facebook feed and over on Twitter or wherever your social media outlets are. Click, um, click and share that over there so other folks that you know might have an opportunity to um, visit this information. So with that, hey, let's take a look at some stocks that might you might want to put on your watch list things that you might want to pay attention to as we move forward here um, uh, yesterday I had mentioned Nvidia and um, full disclosure here um, I own Nvidia and uh, members of right way options are in a uh, very profitable trade on NVIDIA and NVIDIA is just kind of resting here uh, it did pop up but kind of resting here and I wouldn't be at all too surprised to see this continue to consolidate um, moving sideways here as it moves over toward its trend but I also would not be all that surprised to see um, NVIDIA kind of change its uh, trajectory here and move on through to this next level of resistance up here so watch um, NVIDIA if you're looking for a trade NVIDIA could be um, a really nice position to be taking a look at yesterday I mentioned Home Depot as a potential and Home 
Home Depot popped that cup and handle pattern, uh, moving up sharply yesterday and looking really, really strong. So any rest, consolidation, or pullback, any inside day in here may be an opportunity to enter Home Depot moving it right on up here to this next level of resistance looking pretty good take a look at roku now i mentioned roku yesterday as a possible to either be a short or a long and it was really kind of dancing around that level well yesterday there was a report saying that uh, the apple streaming service is really going to be no threat to roku and roku responded bullishly to that so we have a nice little bullish pattern here on roku and that's looking just pretty darn good so something to keep an eye on you know a chart that um i am in and holding this is a uh, full disclosure here a trade that i'm holding um and it's it's been a frustrating uh challenging trade one of those that's just kind of dancing around and can't seem to get its act together um watching ea here if ea can pop out this little resistance area here and continue on with this trend um, something to pay attention to and watch really like that trade and it's looking um, well it's looking like a possibility but we want to make sure to wait for that entry signal uh, for that trade I happen to already be in but um, don't chase this trade um, it is it is entirely possible this could drop substantially particularly with a GME report uh, today so watch uh, watch that carefully take a look at some of those um, uh, Chinese stocks like JD JD has a big influence and it's kind of like um, um, uh, China's um, uh, China's answer to Amazon JD um, are really really strong here and has been moving up now right way options is in this trade we're in a hugely profitable position on this trade some folks have already taken profits as high as 57 percent um, I'm watching this resistance up here I kind of believe JD has an opportunity to go higher but I would not be at all surprised to see a little rest or pullback in this chart so watch JD close it could easily start that pullback uh, but there's something going on here in this chart and it's really really strong so keep an eye on that trade so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all great trading today there's lots of great track charts as a matter of fact there's so many great charts it's hard to choose between uh, between them which one would be the best kind of keep in mind that futures were lower most of the night and so it wouldn't be all all that big a surprise to see um, prices kind of test those overnight lows during the day particularly if that durable goods orders uh, report happens to come in um, and disappoint so watch that closely with that everyone have an awesome awesome day and if you're struggling as a trader i just want to encourage you um the trading is a very difficult business and i think most people who've been in the business for very long would tell you one of the most most challenging things that they've ever done but believe me it's worth it once you kind of get things figured out and i want to encourage you to just stick with it and continue to work really hard at it because um, as frustrating as it can be trust me once you kind of get things um, working in your direction get a good plan a good system good discipline to follow that system um, you can find that um, training full-time can be one of the best jobs in the world so love my job and uh, I want to wish everyone the same kind of success everyone take care have an awesome day we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning have a good one <music>